Okay guys, so today I'm gonna go over to LA. Um, I'm going to a haunted house and um, I know it's like literally not even September yet. Wait, is it September? I don't think so. So I'm going to the It house and I'm also going to, what is it called? Um, oh, I'm going to a scary movie today with my friend and her boyfriend. So that should be really fun. Oh, and Spencer too, we're meeting up in LA. So I'm gonna go take the train, got my backpack on my back, tying up my Doc Martens, and um, we'll be on our way. Fun, it's gonna be an adventure, okay? I'm super excited. Um, since we're not gonna be here for Halloween, my favorite holiday, we're gonna be in a different country. Um, I figure, let's just, do the Halloween festivities a few months early, okay? Sounds good to me. I'm not complaining. Hope you're not complaining. So let's go. Spencer got us some donut friends, which is a bomb vegan donut place. Mm -hmm. this one. Oh wow. It's called the Fujigazi Stevens. Wow, that's a lot yummy. Look at that. Apparently he's a singer. Dang. And like seemed to have some Jewish donut. And then I got like a raspberry filled donut. Then I got some pretty flowers. Oh, they're so cute. So we're going to Berry Bowl and I feel like a lame white girl wearing a basic outfit who's just throwing on some docks, just telling everybody, hey, I'm a hipster. Heading to a thrift store, I don't know where. Levi pants that were like $20. <laughs> so I got this like um, yeehaw cowgirl rodeo kind of thing. And then I got this shirt which is just a black t-shirt that says we believe you. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a political statement. So we came back from the vegan restaurant. What was it called? Hinterhof. Hinterhof. So we got um, two appetizers. We got the soft pretzel. Mm, it was so freaking good. Oh, the and soft then, pretzel was super good. Yeah, it was bomb. And then we also got this potato appetizer with like sage pan and um, onions with like some kind of yogurt on it. Oh my gosh, delicious, right? And then I got. Spencer got the, what, bratwurst with curry? Currywurst. Currywurst. And, mm, um, Currywurst. <laughs> and it was literally, like, the sausage with, like, curry all over it and, like, a huge plate of fries. The fries were bomb. I got the bratwurst with, um, 
well it came with like sauerkraut and potato the same potatoes as the appetizer um and the bratwurst yeah wasn't that great but um the potatoes still good but i had already eaten it so I was like uh. and then um the sauerkraut trader joe's sauerkraut is so much better oh my goodness i'm kind of disappointed but the whole ambiance of the place and everything was, cool was like there. so freaking good everybody was super nice it's so hip very hip it, and it, it's a very modern take on german yeah it was like modern farmhouse vibes like it was like such a cute place it's a year and three fourths anniversary too. <gasps> yes a year and three fourths that's crazy so it's a year and eight months that's crazy so happy anniversary to us happy anniversary man. thank you happy anniversary Finn. he gave me some flowers and bought my movie ticket and, and now we're and a donut. Oh my god, the donut was so good. So we're heading over to the house. Unfortunately, my friends couldn't come because their car died before they're coming over here. It sucks, I know. The universe doesn't want me to have plans, but <laughs> yeah, we're kind of late. Yeah, we gotta go, Randy. We gotta go. Okay guys, so we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go shopping. Not fun shopping, we're going grocery shopping, okay? I kind of hate this right now because I usually go to one of the Sprouts at um, Irvine because they freaking know what they're doing when I bring my jars. They're friendly, they let me use my boyfriend's discount. Everything's amazing, right? Well, last time I was there, I was with Spencer. This time was the first time that I brought Spencer with me. We used his discount and the lady goes, like she was super cool and then she proceeded to say, hey, um, next time you can't use um, the discount unless you have the card. And I'm thinking like, nobody has ever told me that. Like I always use a picture of the card, never the physical card. And I go to that Sprouts literally every freaking week or every other week and I'm like shook to the core right like um excuse me she made me so nervous I always bring my jars so people don't know what they're doing sometimes Ooh. But, oh my god my car was in sports mode <laughs> I, I have a sports mode I was wondering why my car was like revving up so much it was like going a little crazy it was scaring me just a little bit yeah, so now I'm too nervous to go to that Sprouts, which I was a loyal supporter of that Sprouts. You know what, I'm just gonna tell you my all my horror stories of Sprouts. So the first one I went to, super, super close by my house, I thought it was gonna be my home Sprouts, right? It's like 10 minutes away, so I go there, and um, turns out they don't know how to do the separation between the jar weight and um, the weight of the items. And so I would always hold up the line there and freaking embarrass myself every time. So I stopped going there. So then I went to a second Sprouts so that's a little bit closer. And the people were super mean there and they wouldn't let me use my boyfriend's discount and they would judge me and they didn't really know how to do the jar thingy either. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drive all the way to Irvine. So I started going to one that was 15 minutes away, 15 to 20 minutes away. And then they made that comment last time about, oh, you need the physical card. And then, so now I'm going to the one that's even further. 
because I went there one time and they were super chill the guy he that's my own experience so I'm hoping it's gonna be super chill there and I literally only need like less than 10 things so I'm like nervous okay guys hear me out so when I travel I really want to get a tattoo for every country I visit but then I think about it and I want to visit every country I love tattoos okay I love tattoos so much I love it when people are covered head to toe in tattoos and I love when people don't have any tattoos but for me personally I don't think I would look great head to toe in tattoos I think I just would look strange out of my element I like small like baby tattoos because I'm a baby I can't handle so many hours of a needle jabbing into me that's hard work I literally applaud people who have so many tattoos because I admire that unfortunately I don't think I could do that so I'm thinking maybe I should just get a tattoo in every continent I go to because there are way less continents than countries that's more reasonable you know give you a little haul so I got some Oh yeah, milk, bomb is heck, my favorite. I'm literally in the parking lot, I'm kind of embarrassed, but I got some baking soda, cause I need that for my vegan pancakes. Okay, so this is um, the mason jars. I got two things of chocolate chips, cause I'm gonna make my work some um, yummy treats, because I am sad I'm leaving, okay? So with this, I'm gonna show you guys how to um, kind of um, weigh the jars. So what you do in the beginning, your trip you go to the front of the store and you have them weigh your jar and you write the weight of the jar at the top or you could write it on the piece of paper which is what I like to do so on my list I have um, all the things that I got and then the skew numbers and at the bottom I put the weight of the jars right there so it makes it easy for the person who um, scans your items and stuff because you already have your list and everything's on there I also got um, some more quick oats because I eat oatmeal literally every day and I cannot stop, okay? Um, I got some organic medium chunky salsa because freaking bomb, I'm literally obsessed with salsa. Got four organic bananas, um, pretty simple. I got two little Roma tomatoes and a organic cucumber. Um, and bring your own mesh bags. It makes it easier. You don't have to use their nasty plastic bags, okay? And then I got two organic avocados and two plums because I freaking am obs uh, I am obsessed with plums. If you have any questions on how to zero waste shop um, or more advice, just let me know because I would love to give you that advice. It's probably my favorite thing to do is talk about the environment and help people out with their sustainability journey because everybody's journey is different. Everybody goes through their own challenges. I wanna have a community where people feel um, safe to share their struggles and to share advice and to help people out because that's what this channel is all about. It's to help people out, make them feel, feel comfortable in being um, green and help them out because um, I know it's, it's a hard world out here. Um, Lots of people think you have to be super perfect to be an environmentalist or um, to, you know, say be vegan or be zero waste or anything. Everybody always has that pressure to be perfect. And I'm just here to tell you, no, you don't need to be perfect. As long as you're doing your best um, and you're trying, that's all that matters. I really, really wish Starbucks had oat milk and I think we should start a petition to bring oat milk over here because it's so much better than almond milk, not only for the environment, but for um, my taste buds. Um, oat milk is just superior in every way, shape, and form. My mom always fills up like my Starbucks gift cards, even when I don't ask her to. Like sometimes I'm thinking like, hey, you know what? I want to start trying different coffee shops, but my mom's like, no, you're just gonna have Starbucks for the rest of your life. Mom, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the cards. It enables me to get coffee whenever I want. Like, it's the sweetest thing ever. But um, I feel like having Starbucks and having instant coffee all the time um, exposes me to just, like, mediocre coffees. I mean, personally, I love Starbucks and I love instant coffee. But lots of people think it's nasty. And I don't understand because maybe that's because that's all I've ever known. And maybe that's a problem, maybe it's not. Maybe it's like low expectations. I think it's freaking bomb. And I'm glad I'm not a coffee snob yet because once I become a coffee snob, I won't be able to go 
back to Starbucks or back to drinking an instant coffee. And I like them because they're accessible and they're so easy and they're everywhere, you know? Once I become a coffee snob, that like privilege to go anywhere and have any coffee is just taken away from me. And then I'm gonna be miserable trying all these different coffee shops and being disappointed. So I'm grateful that I'm used to shitty ass coffee because I think it's delicious, okay? It was so much fun, so much fun taking you guys along with me. I'm sure not many people watch this, but that's okay because I know my future self is gonna be watching this video and future self, if you're out there and you're watching me right now, thank you, girl, because supporting past, present, and future Miranda is awesome, okay? So thanks, girl. Okay, guys. We are in the kitchen now. So I thought, let's get um, baking. I don't really have to do anything in the oven. I'm just gonna melt down some chocolate chips and put them in. Let me show you. Let me, sh let me show you. Actually, I don't know where they are, but one second. Hold on there. I said, give me one second. Chill. Chill, okay? I will find it. One second. Be patient. Patience is a virtue, okay? I found it. Look what I have, guys. I got this from Mother's Market. <laughs> so freaking cute. So it's a um, heart silicone mold. You just pop out the chocolate. How freaking sweet and cute. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these for work. I think I bought way too many chocolate chips for this, but <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So. Let's get melting, melting that chocolate. What you will need is one of these bad boys over here. You put it on um, the fire. See, I'll, I'll set this right here. You turn up the heat, you get that um, a hot, ooh, I have to go to the bathroom. Give me a few moments, okay? Okay guys, so I just ran into a little problem here. So I just realized that um, in order to make these chocolates, you know, you have to freeze them when you're done. And I only have one little thing of silicone mold of heart. You know, I should have just made cupcakes, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna use um, a circular one for the ones that have like insides, like peanut butter. I'll do like, look, I'll do like half of this peanut butter filling, half of this jelly filling, and this one will be like my solid chocolates. How cute, okay? Super cute, I'll put coconut on it. Or I don't know, maybe people are allergic to coconut. You get the chocolates that were that you bought in the bulk section. You sneaky little you getting the package ones. No. <laughs> you get your chocolates from that bulk section. So you're gonna just get one of these little bad guys, just a spoon, okay? You're gonna pour these chocolates. I don't know how much I'll need, honestly. Oh shit, I put some chocolate. Okay, so I used the whole jar. Didn't even care, just did it. Move it around, let it melt. It'll be all nice. And you let it melt until it gets super, super creamy to where like you could pour it in, you know? Mm. This sucks because I always just want to eat everything. Here, let me show you what's going on over here. Okay, so as you can see, you just mix this around. Yummy. You're gonna want to eat it all. Don't eat it all, guys. I'm serious. Not, not good. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wow, so good. Oh man. Oh man, that is some good chocolate. My finger is burning. Oh man. It's fine. The next step, you take this off of the fire. You're gonna take this little spoon right here. I'm gonna scoop up the chocolate from the pan. You're gonna pour it into the heart mold. This is a little difficult. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of scrape this over. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, but I think this will just help 
even everything out. Get all the chocolate off the top. No chocolate my teeth. So as you can see, got my little chocolates. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the freezer because that's where they belong. So let's go. Okay, so there goes the hearts and they're gonna get super freaking good. I got this ice cream yesterday. It's the chocolate cookies and cream cashew milk. Oh, so delicious. Okay, I'm not just saying that, but it's so delicious. Okay, there we go. So, we'll see you in a few hours. So, sorry about um, not showing you the rest of the little treats that I'm making for my coworkers, but um, my grandma came back home. I thought she was gonna be gone for the weekend, but she ended up coming back, so they rang the her and her friend rang the doorbell, and I was like shook. I was like, hey, who's here? I, you know, just me, a cute little girl alone at home. I was like shook. I was like, who's here? And then <laughs> it was just my grandma, so <laughs> I ended up eating dinner with them and stuff, so sorry, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog, officially officially it so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time peace out guys